Hi everybody, this is Mr. Moore, your macroeconomics instructor. Hope that you've had a great week. Just want to take a minute here and give you a review of the instructions for chapter application six. Let's take a look. So chapter application six, the cost of minimum wages. What I'm trying to get you to do here is do some simple math on what happens to a business, a fake business, if minimum wages are raised significantly like have been talked about here in the last few years in the United States. So we've got some costs here, some profit levels and the profit margin. I define the terms here for you, so read through this so that you'll understand what I'm talking about. And then what I want you to do is think about this situation. The state government has passed a law that starting next year, the minimum wage will rise from $10 per hour to 15, a 50% increase. You have determined that you can earn 8% on your money by investing it in the stock market instead of using it to run a restaurant. In other words, if you closed the business and invested the million dollars in sales you had last year, you could earn $80,000 or 8%. So if the profits from the business dip below 8% or 80,000, you might as well close down and put your money in the stock market. That way you don't have to work so hard, but you can still earn a good income. Given this situation, answer the questions below. That's very important that you keep this situation in mind. What I'm trying to get you to see here is, this is called opportunity cost. So you cannot do both. Let me make sure that's clear. Some students get confused here. You can't take part of your money from your business and put it in the market and, part, and try and keep your business open with part of it. You can't do that. If you're gonna get money out of your business, you have to sell the whole thing. That's the way it would work in the real world. So basically, I want you to take these numbers and do some math on them with this wage hike and see what happens. Do we get below that 80,000? And if so, what should we do? So here, we're gonna go through and ask you some questions, and then I want you to do some reflecting on this. Uh, it might seem like a little complicated, but it isn't. Just slowly walk through each question, do your math. I didn't make it complex math, okay? And then don't forget the assignment requirements in terms of your formatting. But email me with any questions, and I look forward to seeing your submission. Have a great day.